Thank you everyone to joining me on this video. In this video I will demonstrate how to install VirtualBox Extension Pack and how to access VirtualBox Machine remotely using Microsoft Remote Desktop Connection Manager. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe buttons. Please make sure to enable remote connection on your machine. You can allow remote connection to all networks or to specific domain network limited assigned users. Change virtual machine network connection type to bridge, so the VM can detect physical host machine network. Assign static IP to virtual machine that we later use to connect EVM. You can also connect virtual machine through hostname or fully qualified domain name under your domain environment. Next we can see how to install VirtualBox Extension Pack. VirtualBox Extension Pack is a binary package intended to extend the functionality of VirtualBox. The Extension Pack adds the following functionalities. Enable support for USB 2.0 and USB 3.0 devices. USB devices such as network adapters, flash drives, hard disks, webcams etc that are inserted into physical USB ports of a host machine, can be attached to a virtual machine running on VirtualBox. Host Webcam Pass-Through With this feature you can connect your host webcam to a guest machine. VirtualBox Remote Desktop Protocol Feature This feature allows you to control virtual machines remotely via the VirtualBox interface even if you cannot connect directly to a VM. Disk Image Encryption with AES Algorithm Data stored on virtual disk images can be encrypted transparently for a guest OS. As a result, your VM data is encrypted even if the VM is copied from your protected storage to another location. Intel PXE Boot ROM PXE is a pre-boot execution environment that is used for network booting. A VM can boot using emulated PXE boot, read-only memory, to install an operating system. You must prepare PXE boot configuration files in your VirtualBox TFTP folder before using this feature. Best practice is to install extension pack while VirtualBox is not running, or if you install while VirtualBox running you must need to relaunch VirtualBox, otherwise you might hit with error. Lastly, let's download Microsoft Remote Desktop Connection Manager and access Virtual Machine remotely. You can find Remote Desktop Connection Manager download link under description of this video as well. You need to unzip folder and copy folder to your desired location, or can create shortcut to your desktop with no installation required. On your first launch you need to create server group file, under which later you can add your server's list you wish access remotely. We are all set on Remote Desktop Connection Manager. Let's give Virtual Machine a meaningful name and access remotely using Remote Desktop Connection Manager. 
Keep in mind there are tons of RDP remote connections applications available, some are paid with more advanced features. Add machine hostname and IP details under Remote Desktop Connection Manager. Place user credentials details under Logon Credentials tab. Once you hardcore username password details, you don't need to type credentials on every time you try to connect machine using Remote Desktop Manager. If the machine is domain joined you need to define domain details otherwise just put machine name under domain field. You can adjust screen resolution as per your desired settings. Double tap to launch machine. Hit yes to accept connection certificate. If you follow all steps correctly, you will successfully able to connect machine remotely. I hope this video was informative. See you shortly with a new exciting topic. Thanks again for watching the video and please hit like and subscribe to show your support.